Here we are at the Nexus building at St Leonard's, uh, standing on the roof uh, with our solar energy array. The Nexus building is 11 storeys in height with 88 apartments and 14 commercial lots and managed by a building management committee. Our solar panels here on the roof uh, heat our hot water and then it's finally gas boosted to uh, each of our apartments through storage tanks. Each apartment has a hot water meter and that meter measures the amount of volume of hot water that an apartment uses, which ends up on your gas bill. We chose solar hot water simply because the existing system of gas-fired heaters were deteriorating every single year. In the seven years that uh, we were in the building in the initially, we were replacing one heater per year. There weren't too many options, it was more of the same, for instance, replacing the hot water heaters with more hot water heaters and replacing them one every year. Or to go with uh, heat pumps. Unfortunately, in this particular installation, heat pumps could not supply the amount of hot water that we require for 88 apartments turning on their hot water all at the same time. Our final selection was obviously the solar because we could reduce our gas consumption by at least 50% through the building and it was the most energy efficient and best carbon dioxide reduction at the end of the day. We are very fortunate here at Nexus that we have a flat roof and we have a very large roof about the size of a football field and we had no restrictions in terms of space, uh, installation, uh, drilling through the roof. We were able to waterproof all very, very successfully. Certainly the shape and uh, direction of your roof, we're very fortunate here at Nexus that we face north-south, but most uh, installations may have pitched roofs, they may have roofs that are inaccessible, they may have roofs that are a long, long way from the apartments where the gas hot water plant may be today. So there are many things to consider and that's why you need expert advice uh, before you start the project. It's always the unknown of how a system will operate and there were initial discussions about the way in which the solar could be provided to each of the apartments but there were no real objections and we were able to provide a return on investment that was adequate and necessary for the investment that we made. The cost of the system was borne by the owners corporation and the return on that investment was about four years in total. Given that we've reduced our gas consumption by about 50% and that has translated into each of the apartments receiving a reduced gas bill. We installed this in the very early days of rebates and there was a, a rebate that was available from the government but it was a very small amount and that uh, applied back against the cost of the system. The greatest learning from this experience was uh, do more research and uh, more research cannot hurt. Uh, certainly in the case of suppliers, don't listen to all of the rash promises. Look at their installation record, make sure that they have had experience with residential apartments because here we are with 88 apartments and that could be 88 people turning on their shower at exactly the same time every single morning wanting hot water. That is the test of a true installer of this type of system. As part of this installation, we also did an audit of all of our thermostatic mixing valves in all of our apartments and found that many of them were below standard. So by reinstituting all of those back to the standard temperature as supplied by government, we were able to make sure that we had hot water provided by our solar system to all apartments on a constant basis.